We're on a mission to find the best barbecue in the South. We're headed to Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and Georgia. First up, the Shed Barbecue and Blues in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. I mean, there's three things about barbecue, the three things that only everybody tries to get too philosophical. Number one, it tastes good. Number two, it's truly Southern and truly American. And number three, it never goes out of style. They were so nice. They brought it out on a tray for us. They brought us three different kinds of barbecue sauces. So this is the one that they put on everything. This is kind of a sweet and tangy set, a little bit vinegary. And then this one is the one that people rave about. It's a mustard kind. Yeah, and then this one was just the Southern Sweet, yep, the original. original. And that's what yeah. they put everything, put and on that's, everything. That's a big vat of it yes. right there. This place looks incredible. It, you walk in and it feels like Disneyland or a theme park. So this is the white macaroni salad. White macaroni salad. Mm. Yeah, of really course, Tay doesn't use a plate. She uses the <laughs> plate. <is> <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> well, I mean. The sweet potato. Might as well casserole. dig in. Oh. That's like dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Was that a good choice? Yeah. Go with the recommendation. Mm -hmm. This is what they recommended the uh, sweet potato. Oh, and this is. Ooh, yeah. I was like, what's over there? Sweet potato casserole. Over there. And, then, yeah. and then now is the max salad. Let's dip it in the sauce. Yeah. Mmm. Southern Sweet is really good. <laughs> We're like the welcoming committee. Tay and I have been making a lot of turkey lately. Does not even come oh. close. Oh, really? Cut me up, Pete. Go ahead. So good. All what right. did you What did you try already? Um, I tried the... Brisket? Which one's that? Oh, that's the brisket? Yeah. Oh, that is really good. I gotta oh. try this. This is like the... I really love mustard sauce. Whole pork mustard sauce. Oh, that was really good. I'm going to have to take that. And then the vinegar. Wow. I think this one will be my favorite, the sweet and tangy. Mmm. Oh, I love that a lot. You got it on your chin. Mmm. <laughs> Such good smoke. I know that uh, is good, really good smoke. Yeah. All right, last one we got to go in for this, the, the ribs. Oh, I forgot about the ribs here. <laughs> See that? Oh. Wow, that does look good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Look at that. It's like. Oh, my gosh. Are they good? Yeah, that's the best thing on the plate. Oh, wow. It's almost like a little peppery. Yeah. Peppery and, and then sweet. sweet. Uh -huh. I'm not joking. That's like one of the best ribs I've ever had. I was just going to say that. That was wild. Mm. Can we just look ribs. at that? I read somewhere that highly intelligent people make sound effects. Oh, is that true? Mm -hmm. I haven't tried this yet. Mm -mm. You haven't tried the sweet potato casserole? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't thinking. I was too focused on these ribs. It's really good. It's like dessert. I'm going to eat that last. What's your favorite? If I had to say my, my favorite is, mm -hmm. it's a tough choice, but I will have to say it is the ribs. The ribs are delicious. Oh my gosh, so good. Close second is the turkey brisket or pulled pork <laughs> close second all of them that's a different cat that looks like bad cat looks like bad cat it's bad cat all right pio all right i'm full okay we are at size barbecue which stands for, um, sorry ass Mike, he was the owner. Well, that's what they called him in high school and it stuck. Sorry ass Wilson, saw. What did I say? Sorry ass Mike. <laughs> the W, literally. Put that down W. 
This mac and cheese is a dog's So far, so good. This pulled pork is so tender. Mmm. Mm. Good. Sausages, delicious. But I'm not much of a sausage person, but they're delicious. Okay. Let's see. Oh, a nice snap on the exterior. Yeah, you do like that. Very peppery. That's what it is. Mm hmm. We were at the shed earlier and they gave me a shirt. Yeah, I did. Oh, mm. it really gets sauce. It's a little bit thinner and it has um, kind of a spice to it, which is nice. It's kind of a mix between a sweet sauce and a vinegary sauce. <laughs> Very refreshing. Cuts through kind of the richness of barbecue, though, mm -hmm. I would say. If I, in my expert culinary opinion, I'm at red. <laughs> Why are you eating that? It's so loud. A pickle. Very oh crunchy pickles. God. I hope people will have that S and M or whatever it's called. And I like those sounds. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> yeah, what are, you, what are you talking about? I don't know. The issue with the ribs, they're delicious. They taste great. However, they are spare ribs. So all the troubles that come along with the spare ribs, you'll have to uh, kind of work through those. What, like they're tough? Um, there's a little bit of toughness to them, but then there's also like the bits, the bits and bobs, like the uh, tendons that's what that come in. Yeah. yeah, I didn't like that. Mmm, that bite was good. It sounded great. Juicy, mm. juicy. Oops. Face they definitely are it. moist. Let me have one bite of that one. There you go. Oh. Wow. <laughs> What's your favorite thing? I don't like it's chicken. You like chicken? Yeah, it's so tender. And that sauce, I just like, I can't get over it. Yeah, yep, it's definitely. All right, and that's our take on sauce. It's good. It's yours. Attention to detail is not your far suit. <laughs> suit. What's it called? Spine suit? I don't suit? Even know what no, you're wait, trying to say. Called? Your strong suit. Strong suit. You <laughs> just you're, made up a word. Uh, <laughs> oh, we are going to. Uh, we are driving to Memphis, Tennessee for... We're going to Charlie Burgos Rendezvous Barbecue. Stop number three. Let's get it. Let's go to... First impression, we're greeted by the owner. Um, so nice. I cannot believe that like everyone in this restaurant is so warm and welcoming. Mm. Now we already got served a complimentary beans and rice. Um, there's some sausage in here too. Mm -hmm. um, and then the old elevator shaft here is what they turn into the sneaker. I absolutely love that uh, the places that we've gone to, well, at the shed and here, uh, none of them have talked poorly about other barbecue places. And I find that so refreshing. I'm so competitive that I would feel like I would talk trash on everyone else. <laughs> Even if they were good, you know. Uh, oh, oh sorry. Right. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, wow. That's the dry rub. Thank you. That's, that's what we came here for, right there. <laughs> slaw on that. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, All right, so we got some baked so beans, good. and then this is the uh, shoulder, the pork, pork shoulder. Okay, got Thank it. You. And then just the regular dry rub ribs. So. <laughs> we don't mind. Yeah. There's, you know, dipping in that juice. Oh, okay. Because it's our base. Yeah, you got oh, it. Awesome. Thank you. Gosh, those ribs are so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That 100 year old recipe of that slaw is like mind blowing. I can eat this every day. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep adding like 10 years to it. I said 100, you said 110. Looks well, so like we have some brisket with the uh, oh. little sauce. Yeah, the shop. Okay, right here. Oh, okay, got it. Oh yeah, yeah. Gosh. A here. little brisket. That is oh. chicken, actually. Okay, 
Here's the ribs. The dry rub. Mm. Mm. That ribs? Mm -hmm. That rub is so good. And is they it? sell this rub in the stores. Yeah, this is what you come here for. This dry rub. Yeah. Oh, pork. pork. Mm. Oh, it's a happy girl. <laughs> yeah, such good smoke. The smoke flavor on this is awesome. If I were to describe this, I would describe it as the Fourth of July on the beach in Santa Cruz, where those where you can you can taste the the fire kind of yeah. old school barbecues, yeah. you know, with the coal. What's your favorite? I've never had slaw like this. I know. It's so good. Both. All right. We got a hot sauce. So this is the original. I think that's what's on most everything. And then you've got your hot barbecue sauce. So chicken and biscuit? That's a mm. biscuit? Mm-hmm. What? That's really good. Did you try the beans up? The what? The beans. Yeah, really good. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that good? I like can't decide what it is. So I would say, if I were to rank it, which for me is number one. Because that, that is, it's so soft and moist. And then you've got the vinegar and the mustard with the, the tender pork. And then I would do the brisket next. This is brisket, right? Yeah. Brisket, and then I would do the ribs and then chicken. The rub is so good on the ribs, but I just can't deny my love for the fall off the bone. Yeah, the fall off the bone ribs are, are definitely and, my favorite as well. It might be because I'm lazy. I don't know, but... I just don't want to work for me. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I would definitely say... You have to get the brisket and you have to get the sandwich, the pulled pork sandwich. Okay. It's not even cold. No, I have no idea. Okay, so we got here, we got ribs, <laughs> mac beans and uh barbecue nachos, nachos pulled pork sandwich with coat you gotta yeah, try it like this oh. Oh. mac and cheese has an interesting taste i think the nachos are my favorite i knew they would be mm -hmm. talk with it. it's like you're at a ballpark mm -hmm. <laughs> just drizzle that baby so wild. Drizzle Dumpkins. I was in mm -hmm. Memphis. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are hot. Let's get this. Let's get all oh, They're a little more tender. Try that. It tastes totally different than the, mm -hmm. the other one. It was a lot more tender than the other, but I like the rub on the other one better. Yeah. The beans are a little thinner, nice which are nice. Yeah. And they're, they've got a nice peppery it's flavor. So cool. That's a really good rub. Yeah. <sighs> Not cold at all. Despite what it looks like out here, it's not 36 degrees. <laughs> you can have this delicious barbecue. Oh, those spicy jalapeno. Mm. These are baby backs. Oh, yeah, those are tender. Tenderloins. You don't like the ribs, do you? Oh, okay. The shed ruined me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, what's your favorite the thing? Nachos. Yes. I like the nachos, but also like the ribs. It's, it's really no question for, for me in my mind. I'd go back to the shed every day of the week because it's that good. The shed and rendezvous, the hospitality is unmatched. And the kindness, the warmth, the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, it's like you're getting this amazing food, but you're also getting this amazing experience, which adds a lot of value to me. Yeah, I agree. Or, Each person <laughs> has their own. Yeah taste when it comes to barbecue mm -hmm. each place that we've gone to has its own unique taste but they all executed so well rendezvous mm -hmm. their brisket and that full pork sandwich Ula. and then the shed those ribs are chefs insane so, yeah, one more one more box bros in atlanta georgia 
All right, see you there. Oh. <laughs> We're at uh, Fox Bros Barbecue in Atlanta. Oh, I gotta try this brisket. So we got a little bit of fatty brisket and a little bit of lean. Yeah. So this is the fatty and the lean. And then we got the dry wings and then the sauced wings. Oh, you got some foam cornbread. Yes, that was the thing. Oh, it's that got was... cheese in it or something. Did you see that? Yeah. So. Vinegary. Vinegary sauce. Where should I? This is the original, I believe. And this is spicy, maybe? Oh. Oh no, signature. That one's the spicy. Spicy? The sauce, I'm not a huge fan of. I think I, I would prefer a little bit more sweetness. That's what I was thinking too. The lean always gets a little dry for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the flavor is good on the Brussels sprouts, but they're a little thick. Overcooked? No. Oh, soggy. Flavor is good, mm -hmm. those Brussels, but. Now let's see how the pork is. It definitely think needs some sauce. Thoughts? Oh. I did it. Right? It's worth it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep going back for the Brussels though. I did too. Another one in the envelope. I'm gonna try this cornbread. So no butter. See I'm how it goes. Jalapeno cornbread. Oh, interesting. <laughs> the dry wing. That's a good looking wing though. That is actually. Let's see. I'll go for the wet week. Wait, you need some ranch or no? I want to try it. I want to That's a pretty good wing. Dude, we should order more wings. Oh my gosh, these wings are delicious. Even the dry one was phenomenal. I would come back for these wings. Those are the showstopper. What do you like better, the dry or the wet? Wet. That's sure. Hands down. What do you say? I say today is a great day. Mm -hmm. We've done a great we've done a great deal on this trip. Yeah, we have. Oh. Started in Mississippi, and we moved to Alabama. Spent some time in Tennessee yesterday. Yeah. Now we're here to round it out in Georgia. Phenomenal. Hey guys, so we are on our final leg home, and we just wanted to give you a wrap up of what we thought of all the places that we visited. So we visited five places. The two that we would drive to, to go back and try again would be, number yeah. one is uh, the shed in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Hands down, all the, the food, the hospitality, the area, great. It's just, it's a whole experience. It really is. It's so awesome, it's one of a kind. And then the second one is uh, Charlie Virgo's Rendezvous in Memphis, Tennessee. Tennessee's known for its barbecue. And I think that is a staple that you must hit. It's an institution mm -hmm. for anybody that's ever been to Memphis, try that one out. It's been around for 75 years and there is no doubt yeah. why it's been around for 75 years. So check that one out the for all the same. The owner greets you and he treats everyone like yep. there's someone special. Absolutely. Uh, just, it's so amazing. You get such a warm and uh, welcoming feeling. Absolutely. So if you guys got value out of this, uh, if you could give us a thumbs up, let us know that you're liking what we're doing. Uh, we'll continue to do that. This is what we love to do. So all things travel, whether it's restaurants, flights, hotels, uh, cruises maybe in the future, let us know. Uh, drop a comment if we missed a barbecue place that you like, yes. that you're a fan of, that you think is the best here in the South, let us know. And we'll go back and we'll, we'll try it out and consider subscribing. We've got lots of cool videos coming out in the future. Lots so, of flights coming up. Yep, lots so, of cool flights. Some business class. Places in Europe we're visiting and then in, also in Asia. And then we're gonna kind of do a tutorial, travel basics and a travel masters kind of insight into traveling like a pro, uh, what whatever level that you're at. So thanks for watching. 
We'll see you guys around.